Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes, and here is what we know. The president was compromised by a hostile foreign government, full stop. There is no other conclusion that can be drawn from Michael Cohen's admission that he lied to Congress to cover up the fact that Donald Trump was actively pursuing a business deal with the Kremlin while he was running for president and saying things like this. Do you like Vladimir Putin's comments about you? Sure. When people call you brilliant, that's always good, especially when the person heads up Russia. Yeah. Well, I mean, he also is a person that kills journalists, political al I mean, right. political opponents, yeah. and uh, invades countries. And invades countries. Obviously, uh, that uh, it would be a concern, would it not? He's running his country, and at least he's a leader. You know, unlike what we have in this country. No, but again, he kills journalists that don't agree with him. Well, I think uh, our country does plenty of killing also, Joe, so, you know. You know, when Trump made those comments, he was secretly, secretly trying to convince the Kremlin to let him build a Trump Tower in Moscow. The Trump Organization even planned to give Putin the penthouse worth an estimated $50 million, possibly illegally, by the way. And yet Trump pretended he was not pursuing the deal. He pretended his opinions were not influenced by his financial interests. He lied over and over, insisting he had no business relationships in Russia. And that the line, that line, it gave the Russians another piece of compromise. Because they knew Trump was lying, which meant that at any time they could expose him. Today, after describing his secret effort to build Trump Tower in Moscow, which he lied to cover up as, and I quote here, very legal and very cool, Trump participated in the G20 gathering of world leaders in Argentina, where Vladimir Putin was all smiles in greeting Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, who the CIA says ordered the murder of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Trump has cast doubt on bin Salman's role in that murder. Now, we don't know why. We don't know what, if anything, the Saudi crown prince might have on President Trump. What we do know is this. Trump has already made clear that he is willing to lie to cover up his business interests. Last week, he insisted he doesn't make any deals with Saudi Arabia. Back in 2015, he was telling a very different story. I like the Saudis. They're very nice. I make a lot of money with them. They buy all sorts of my stuff, all, all kinds of toys from Trump. They pay me millions and hundreds of millions. Joining me now, Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal, Connecticut, a member of the Judiciary Committee. Is the president compromised, to your view? He is extremely compromised. The Russians have the same leverage over him that they had over Michael Flynn. And that's the reason that the former attorney general wanted Flynn fired. And ultimately, it's the reason that Flynn was prosecuted. The Russians could blackmail Flynn and now Trump with the truth. Yeah, just a reminder to folks that 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 uh, Sally Yates went and warned uh, folks at the White House about Flynn because they knew that Flynn was telling a public lie about private communications he had with the Russians, and that was the possibility that provided a possibility for blackmail and compromise. And what you're saying is that's precisely the same situation with the President of the United States, the Commander in Chief. In this case, Trump lied to the American people that there were no business dealings during early 2016, when, in fact, Michael Cohen was out there doing the deal, or at least trying to do them. And they didn't succeed, but not for lack of trying. And not only Donald Trump, but his family also potentially are at risk here of legal prosecution. It's also striking that the that that as that the Russians were covering up for Trump. They were they were holding his secret and keeping his lie. Here's uh, Peskov, who's a sort of lieutenant of Putin. He's the the, the individual whose office Michael Cohen had contacted, uh, essentially lying about this very matter about whether there are any business interests. Take a listen. If I'm not mistaken, he never had any 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 business here. He certainly says he did no deals here. I've never heard about any any businesses of him here in Moscow, here in the Russian Federation. That is the same individual who, according to Felix Sater, uh, invited Michael Cohen to come to pursue the deal. With Donald Trump, it's all about the money. Think of it for a moment. The nominee of one of the two major parties for the most powerful position in the United States, the leader of the free world, is trying to do a deal with the Kremlin, with America's enemy, a business deal to enrich himself. This kind of self-dealing is exactly what the founders sought to prevent through a clause in the Constitution known as the Emoluments Clause. Never invoked before because we've never had a president like this one. And that's the reason that we have 
a lawsuit called Blumenthal v. Trump. That's the reason that the Congress must have hearings and take action. Well, it raises a specter right now of what deals are happening in the background. I mean, the president made this big show that he was panning it off to the kids, and but we we know that he can, he can do know whatever he wants about it. While he's president, it's entirely possible that something very similar is happening as I speak to you at this table. And in fact, some of it is happening right now because the Saudis have bought rooms in his hotels. They have bought condos in his buildings. They are renting places. He's doing deals in Indonesia, all of it through the Trump Organization. Keep in mind, Chris, every other president has divested his assets or hers, uh, hopefully in the future. But with Donald Trump, None of these assets has been divested. No private interests have been surrendered. Let me just also play this, just to, to, again, to hammer home this idea that here's this individual who is going through the process of the nomination, about to become the Republican nominee during those six months, January to June of 2016, while his people are pursuing a deal. And not just pursuing a deal with Russians, with the Kremlin, and not just pursuing a deal with the Kremlin, asking for their permission. Right there in the supplicant position. Here he is giving a big foreign policy speech, April 27, 2016, again, in the heart of this period. Take a listen. I believe an easing of tensions and improved relations with Russia from a position of strength only is possible, absolutely possible. Common sense says this cycle, this horrible cycle of hostility must end and ideally will end soon. Again, on its own terms, a perfectly reasonable thing to say about American-Russian diplomatic relations. But what do you say looking at that, knowing what you know now? I say uh, the story here is really the sellout of the American people, our national security, for private ends. And uh, the key point that you have just raised is what is going on right now that we don't know? That's the reason that we need oversight and courage and backbone from Congress which hopefully we'll have in the next Congress, and why we need also the special counsel to be protected. Because the closer he comes to Donald Trump, the more the walls close in on him, the more he will lash out directly by firing Robert Mueller or indirectly through Matt Whitaker, the acting attorney general, through a kind of slow motion Saturday night massacre, suffering, suffocating the special counsel by depriving it of funds or authority or subpoena power, and that's why we need protection. All right, Senator Richard Blumenthal, thanks for being with me tonight. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.